Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to go over the big three for my Appalachian Trail through hike attempt this year. The big three, if you don't know, consists of the tent, the sleeping bag, and the backpack. They're called the big three because they tend to be the biggest, heaviest, and most expensive pieces of gear for the backpacking trip and I just want to go over it. This video is not sponsored in any way. This is all my gear, my opinions, and if you guys are looking to get your big three, I highly consider doing a lot of research yourselves because these are important decisions for a backpacking trip. The first piece of gear I'm going to talk about is my tent, and that is the z Pax Duplex. This is the tent I brought with me when I attempted the AT last year, and I really liked it. I thought it was a great tent for backpacking. My favorite thing about it is how lightweight it is. The website says it comes in at about 19 ounces. And I like how it's a truck and pull tent so you don't need to carry the extra weight of tent poles. This is probably the most popular tent out on trail. I saw a lot of people with the duplex or even couples hiking the trail together would have the triplex. It is not a cheap tent. It comes in at about $600, but weighing only 19 ounces. I thought it was a good investment and I'm very happy with it so far. If you saw our video I posted about a month ago saying that I got the Big Agnes UL2 tent, I got a new tent. That is specifically for hiking in the White Mountains because I got it to set up on tent platforms and hike with my dog. I don't want to confuse anyone, that is not the tent I'm taking with me on the AT, I am taking the duplex. The next piece of gear I'm going to talk about is my sleeping bag, and that is the Enlightened Equipment 10 Degree Convert. Again, this is the sleeping bag I took with me on the AT attempt last year and thought it worked very well. I had temperatures get down to 17 degrees, but negative one or two with a wind chill, and I'm not going to lie, I was pretty cold, but I think this holds up very well for having a 10 degree rating. What originally drew me to Enlightened Equipment was how customizable their whole website was. You can really go in and design your own sleeping bag or quilt exactly how you like it. You can change things like the length, the width, the color, the fabric, the down, the draft collar. There's really so much to choose from that I actually ended up going with one of their in-stock options because they ship a lot faster and their in-stock 10 degree convert was exactly what I wanted in terms of color and fabric and down. So I, I went that option. The specific one that I bought comes in at $405 and 30 ounces. So again, this is a big investment, but it is a really good product. And on a side note, I became a brand ambassador for Enlightened Equipment after I purchased this quilt. So I don't want you to think that me being a brand ambassador changes my opinion. This was the quilt I had chosen and bought way before I filled out the application and became an ambassador and all that. And the last item of my big three list, I'm actually the most excited to talk about because it is a brand new piece of gear. I did not have it on my AT attempt last year and that is my backpack. So last year on the AT, I had my Z-Pax Arc Zip 57 liter and I really liked it and I kind of teased about it in a recent video that I changed my pack. I am not taking my Z-Pax Arc Zip 57 liter that I had on the AT previously. I am upgrading it to a new one and I'm really excited to share it with you. I asked you guys to send in guesses. A lot of people said Hyper Light Mountain Gear backpack because I have a pod from them. And some people said Light AF, but I don't have a backpack from either of those companies. Instead, I actually went with a, another bag from z -Pax. They just came out with this. It is called the z -Pax Arc Air. So this is it. I got it. It's 55 liters. It's black, and I really like it. So here are the two packs right next to each other. I don't really want to get into a full review about them, but the biggest difference is that the Arc Air has a mesh pocket, and the Arc Zip does not. The Arc Zip also has a zip that goes around the whole thing so you can access it without going through the top. And also the back is different. So both of these bags still curve away from your back so a lot of the backpack doesn't touch your back. The Arc Zip has a mesh that kind of arcs it whereas the Arc Air is kind of arced without that mesh. So a couple subtle differences. So I'm really excited to try out the Arc Air on the AT. 
It is a little smaller, so I'm excited to try to downsize a little bit. It is $325 and comes in at 20 ounces. So I love backpacks. I love buying new backpacks. So I think getting a new pack for me on the AT this year was bound to happen. And I'm really excited about this choice. So here's my big three for my Appalachian Trail through hike attempt this year. I'm really excited with what I chose. The z Pax Duplex, the Enlightened Equipment Convert 10 Degree, and the z Pax Arc Air 55 Liter. I will put the weight of all three of these combined on the screen in case you're curious, and I will also put links to everything in the description if you want to check it out. Another update that's kind of cool is I turned on channel memberships for my channel, so if you noticed a join button down there, that's what it is. You can click on that and watch the little video I made and learn more. It's a great way to support my through hike, but you don't have to join, obviously. Nothing will change if you don't join, but if you do, you get some extra content. So hit the join button to learn more information. And with the, all that said, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.